Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. You are watching Season 2, Episode 4 of the Diamond Commander League. In addition to high power EDH gameplay, we are trying to earn Highlander points by winning games and accomplishing achievements. Let's check out our players, commanders, and strategies for our games today. We have John S. playing Arden, intrepid archaeologist, and Rograk, son of Raga. He is playing an equipment Voltron deck using Arden's ability to skip equip costs and Rograk's zero casting cost and list of abilities. He wants to play the swords he needs to give him protection from his opponents and swing away. I can't help but think Arden should be throwing a Pokeball and yelling, GO ROGRAK! His starting hand includes Soul Ring, Fires of Invention, Hammer of Nizan, Tajik, Blade of the Legion, Boros Garrison, Reflecting Pool, and a Mountain. We have Carlos playing Yidris, Maelstrom Wielder. I am playing an energy focused deck using Yidris' Cascade to get a lot of value fast. There are many energy synergies with a Cloudstone Curio and a Lurin combo package to close out the game when needed. Okay, what do you think the over under is on getting an energy focused commander in the future? My starting hand includes Mox Tantalite, Aether Chaser, Lightning Greaves, Glimmer of Genius, Command Tower, an Island, and a Forest. We have Jason playing Chainer Dementia Master. This is a classic mono black reanimator deck in its full glory. He hopes to control the board until he can assemble one of his combo lines. The go-to combos are Chainer, a Sack Outlet, and Gary or Kakusho, or Micaeus and Walking Ballista. Like the little black dress, the classics can be more than enough. His starting hand includes Arcane Signet, Cabal Ritual, Yeheni Undying Partisan, Sidisi Undead Vizier, Reliquary Tower, and Two Swamps. We have John M playing a Chroma, Angel of Wrath. This deck wants to play the best Pillow Four cards Mono White can muster until a Chroma can come out and save the day. He has a number of Wrath effects, removal spells, and attack stacks cards to slow things down for an 8 cost commander to join the fray. Which is worse, the Wrath of God or a Chroma? Either way, I don't think you're getting into heaven. His starting hand includes Transcendent Envoy, Sword of the Animist, Heliod's Pilgrim, Sarah Avatar, and Three Planes. If you'd like to see more of our videos, let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel. You won't regret it. With that, let's play! Don't hate me. Soul Ring, here it comes. Oh! Mountain Soul Ring, go ahead. Draft for turn. I will play Command Tower. I will play Mox Tantalite Suspended. Pass turn. Draw, Swamp, and I'll pass turn. Draw for turn. Planes, pass. I will draw, play Planes, play Rograk. I will play the Hammer of Nazan. Whenever it, it or another equipment enters the battlefield, I can attach it to a target creature I control. He gets plus 2 and indestructible. Pass the turn. Jeff, a turn. I'm play a Mountain. Let's go ahead with a Aether Chaser. <laughs> Let me get my little energy reserve. Whenever he attacks, I can pay two and make a colorless servo artifact creature token. After that, I'll be done. Reliquary Tower. He played an Arcane Signet. Pass the turn, Jason. All right. Okay. I will draw for turn. I'll play a Planes, and then I will cast Transcendent Envoy. I'm passing the turn. My turn. I have drawn. I'll play a Reflecting Pool. I will play a Fires of Invention, and then I will play Sword of Light and Shadow and equip it for freezies. John, I have protection from you now, so I will attack you for four. I shall take half a table. So then I will gain three life, but I have no creature to return, and then I will pass the turn to Carlos. Spin trigger, draw a card, play a forest, attack John S for two. Use two energy to make a servo token. And then second main, play Lightning Greaves. Equip the servo token. I'll be done after that. Draw. Ooh, it's a magic card. I cast Demonic Tutor. Found my magic card. I'm going to put it into my hand. Cabal Ritual. And Merciless Executioner. Uh -huh. I'll be done after that. Draw for turn. Planes for turn. I will cast Heliod's Pilgrim. I can search for an aura, reveal it, put it in my hand, and then shuffle my library. And then I will pass the turn after that. Untap draw. Let's go ahead and cast Trepid Archaeologist with Fires of Invention. In any combat, I will equip Arden with all the equipment. My second spell, I will cast a Mindstone. Pass the turn. 
upkeep, cast my Mox Tantalite. Then I'll draw a card. We'll play an island for turn. Cast Mr. Idris and go to equip him with Lightning Greaves. And attack Jason for five. I'll pass turn. Draw Swiftfoot Boots, Altar of Dementia. I'll pass. I will draw for turn. Play of Planes for turn. I'll cast Celestial Convergence. Love so this it. has seven omen counters on it. At the beginning of upkeep, I remove one. And then when I remove the last one, whoever has the highest life total wins the game. Added bonus, if two players are tied for the highest life total, the game's a draw. End of your turn, I will crack my wow. stuff and draw a card. I am done. I'll pass. Draw. John? I am going to attack you for six. I will take the six. Game three. I will cast uh, Sigarda's Aid. I'm going to play a Boros Garrison and return a mountain. Oh, I will no. cast Grim Monolith. Good Doesn't thing you really can use me. all that mana, right? Yeah. And I will pass the turn. Untap, draw. Let's attack Mr. John S. For five. Oh, you. What? It. Okay. <laughs> I can't do anything. Yidris appeared. A wild Yidris appeared. For the rest of my turn, my spells have Cascade. So I will cast a Rogue Refiner Cascade trigger. That's mm -hmm. three. Okay, Faithless Looting uh, goes on the bottom. Cast Faithless Looting. Draw two cards. Discard two cards. And discard this consulate turret and glimmer of genius and then rogue refiner will come into play and i will draw a card and get to energy and i'll play a land for turn it'll be the forbidden orchard i will then cast kadama's reach giving john m a one one colorless spirit token you cascade off that, Carlos? Yeah, so I'll get Decoction Module. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I get an energy. And then I can pay four and return a creature I control them to my hand. And then I get my lands. A mountain. Sorry, John, is that coming out of a pinata? It's a genie in a bottle, baby. That's it. I'm going to get a land into my hand and then uh, be done. Draw to swap and cast the nice. handy undying partisan and i'll equip the boots so now they get super haste and i need a blocker so i'm gonna pass the turn okay i will draw for turn i'll play a planes cast ran dynamo cast sword of the animus let's throw this on the pilgrim then i'll move to combat i'll attack john for two ouch attack trigger i will grab a planes that goes in play taps and i will pass turn after that draw all right i will play a sword of vengeance Equip it for free. That gives uh, plus two, plus oh, first strike, trample, vigilance, and haste. I will attack Carlos. I will not block. I will play Tajik, Blade of the Legion. I will pass. Draw for a turn and the forest. I'm sorry, John M. I have little other option than to throw these to your way. Total, I got five from Yidris, and then two for that one. Like seven total. I should have done this prior. I am getting a servo. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, get a energy counter. All my spells have Cascade. I'll go to second main. Cast Cloudstone Curio. Cascade. Winding Constrictor. Ooh. So this one says if I get one or more counters, I get one additional of those. So we'll get two because of the module. And then the curio come into play. I will play Bristling Hydra. I'll do one more for John. Uh, First Cascade, three or less. Aetherflux Reservoir, dang it. Okay. Oh, Era of sad. Innovation. Whenever an artifact or artificer enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, get two energy. And then I can pay six energy and sack it to draw three cards. So I will get three energy and then a fourth energy and then yep. a fifth energy and then a sixth energy. Nine total energy, I believe. And then I'm going to trigger Cloudstone Curio and return this Rogue Refiner to my hand. Um, That's so much value. Pass the turn. Untap, draw, cast my commander, and I'll pass the turn. 
Okay, draw for turn. Play the planes for turn. Play seven to play Sarah Avatar. I'll move to combat. I'll attack Jason with the Pilgrim just so I can get a land. Just take two. It's fine. Okay, thanks. Don't like what's happening here. <laughs> What? Uh, Black and white must unite. Destroy the evil archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay. Second main, I will cast Deneath Capuchin. I will pass. Draw. Play a land. Jason will hit you for eight. I'll gain three life. I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. And sack this era of innovation. Pay six energy and draw three nice. cards. Jason, I understand if you want to block, but I am going to throw this one at you. It's 5-4. I'll take it. Better cascade to something good. I know. I'll play Rogue Refiner. Cascade. The birds. The birds will come into play. I'll get two energy and I'll bounce Aether Chaser. And then Rogue Refiner will come into play. I'll get four. And I'll draw a card and I'll bounce birds to my hand. I have one thing that costs zero. Do you guys want a wheel or not want a wheel? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Play Alchemist Refuge for my land for turn. Cast Whirler Virtuoso. Cascade into Sylvan Caryatid. So the Caryatid will come into play, I'll get two energy. Virtuoso will come into play and I'll get six energy. Cast the Aether Chaser. Cascade into a tune with the Aether. Two energy and then a third energy. 20 energy. Woohoo! Casting Birds of Paradise and giving Jason a spirit. Yes! Okay, there we go. We there are we go. the Wheel of Fate. We discard our hands and draw seven. Draw seven. So birds will now come into play and I will trigger Curio this time, bouncing the refiner. I am done, so you can go ahead. Raw. Tap colorless for soul ring. Land for turn is gonna be a verdant catacombs. I'm gonna go ahead and crack. Get a swamp to play untapped. Yeah, I'm gonna tap these three and cast Toxic Deluge for Ooh. four. In response to that, I am gonna sack my board to uh, Altar of Dementia. Here I pay three, gets hexproof, and it's a counter on him. Well, let's do six more. So he's a 12, 11. And then I lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven permanent. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Crick. Go to nine. <laughs> what are you doing, boss? Upkeep, remove one of these. Four omen counters. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, draw the turn. <laughs> I'll cast Smothering Tithe. Cast Baird. I will cast yeah. Moat. I'll cast LED as well. I will pass. I'll play an Isolated Watchtower. I'm gonna play a Stone Hewer Giant. I will give Stone Hewer Giant haste by equipping Sword of Vengeance. I'm gonna get Sunforger. I'm just gonna pay two to cast Arden and load Arden up with all the equipment and pass. Draw for turn. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Dyna Bolt Tower. Whenever I cast an instant sorcery, I get two energy. Use five energy and tap it to do three damage to a creature or player. I'm gonna cast Live Fast. I will draw two, lose two, and get two energy, and then I'll get two more energy because of the Dynavolt Tower. So lose two and a draw two, and I'll get one, two, three energy. Draw a card. Play Janjeet Setri. Uh, three energy, so 20. Play an island for turn. Play Minister of Inquiries. Lightning Greaves on the Janjeet Sentry. I'm done. Raw. Part of the cards. Tithing on that? No, I will not pay for tithe. So six. And I'll pay two life for the last black. Cast my commander. And then crit gets plus one plus one because I cast a black spell. And I'm going to cast Buried Alive. Put three creatures into my graveyard. I'm going to put Micaeus, Triskelion, and Great Merchant into my graveyard. Then I will pay two life and cast Dark Ritual, also oh. black spell. Add three Carlos, black. Carlos, he's a five. Shoot gonna, him. So make your target. Gary. I'll shoot you for three, Jason. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> that wheel was perfect. It was great. So end step, I will use my treasure. I'll cast Generous Gift on the Sword of Light and Shadow. And you get an elephant off of that. And then I will it's... also sacrifice this for three mana that I can't use. And then I'll discard my hand. Why are you doing that right now? Because at the beginning of my turn, I don't have a hand. 
Achievement. All right. Okay, upkeep. We'll remove an omen counter. I'll draw for turn. I will cast a chroma for the first time. Let's give her a sword. All right, John. Come your way for seven. Ouch. Grab a tapped planes. We'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Would you like to pay for smothering dive? That would be a no. I'm going to start by casting Ugin the Ineffable. He's going to destroy a moat. Tap Stone Hewer. Go get a Sword of Truth and Justice, enter the battlefield, and equip. Then I will cast my second spell of the turn as a Sword of Feast and Famine. That's the fifth one. He did it. I, I am Iron Man. John, I'm attacking you. All right, what do you got? 14. 14. That is commander damage. It puts me at 20 total. I will untap all my lands, put a plus one, plus one counter on an elephant. And proliferate. And John, you will discard a card. The Chroma's Vengeance, actually. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh and, baby. I'll pass the turn. End of turn. I'm going to pay two, tap that, and then pay five and tap it again. Deal you three damage to the face there. Done. Okay, I'm at 30. Draw for turn. I'm going to play Kessig Wolf Run. I'm going to play Servant of the Conduit. So I'll get three energy. Attack. So I'll send the Servant of the Conduit at that to 2-2. Two, two. The rest are coming at your face. Because he has shoes. Cool. I am going to tap your 5-5. Five, five. I will block your uh, Hydra. I will pump it up with all of this. John uh, M, you get a Colorless Spirit. This is for activation. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So he'll get plus 6, plus 0, and trample. So he's dealing 18. So I will take 12 from him. And then there's four other. So I'll take 16. And pump him. You take two more. Yep. And this has 12. John, I did send two at Ugin. Ugin's dead. I'm done. Keep trigger. That has two. It was so close, you know. I will draw for turn. I'll push the combat. John, yep. your way. So I think, if I've got this right, that I block the avatar and die. That's exactly Barely it. enough. Yep. I should have Sunforge for chance for glory and taken another turn. Oh, yeah. I'll play my card that I drew. <laughs> I attacked that, so I get a tapped planes. It's your turn. Draw for turn. You want to pay tithing on that? You just get mana, so no. Play a swamp for turn and pay seven and three green or aether wind basker seven seven trampler uh, enters the battlefield or attacks i get an energy for each creature i control seven energy and then i will equip him with lightning greaves i will tap your acroma and attack you with these two big boys paying two mana basker Asker. Yep, game. Okay. Wow, I shouldn't have won that game, you guys. I don't know why you did that to me. Commander games like this are the reason I suggest players never give up, even when you're pretty sure you're going to lose. Every player had an opportunity to win this game, but classic big beaters pulled it out in the end. For game two, Jason's starting hand includes Walking Ballista, Altar of Dementia, Plague Crafter, Ancient Tomb, Verdant Catacombs, and Two Swamps. Carlos's starting hand includes A Tune with Aether, Faithless Looting, Thriving Grubs, Territorial Gorger, Multiform Wanderer, an Island, and a Forest. John M's starting hand includes Commander's Plate, Oresco's Explorer, Transcendent Envoy, Bound in Silence, Leon and Abunas, and Two Planes. John S's starting hand includes Mana Vault, Stoneforge Mystic, Sword of Body and Mind, Ancient Tomb, Two Planes, and a Tajik Blade of the Legion mulligan to the bottom. Here's game two. Draw. Oh man, this was not on my opening hand. Swamp, Soul Ring, Altar of Dementia. Go ahead. Draw a card. I'm going to play a forest. I'm going to tap the forest for a tune with Aether. I'm going to get a mountain Classic. and it'll go to my hand and I'll be done. Draw for turn. I will play a planes and I will cast Commander's Plate. Pass. Planes, Mana Vault, Sword of Body and Mind. Rogrok. <laughs> Draw. You know what? I am not even going to play a land yet, but I'm going to cast Playcrafter. You can't sacrifice a creature of Planeswalker. You have to discard a card. Uh, uh, I'll play Catacombs, and I'll pass. I'm going to go ahead and get a Swamp, though. Discard Faithless Looting. I will untap. I will play a Mountain. And I'm going to play Thriving Grubs. Carlos won the first playing good limited cards, so he has to start by playing bad limited yeah, cards. I'm done.
Drop return. I'll play a planes. I will cast Transcendent Envoy. I will untap and lose one life. What, what my mana will draw. I will play an Ancient Tomb. Play Arden. Equip Arden. I'll draw. Go Ancient Tomb. Five. And I'll cast Chainer. Lose two life. Draw a card. Jason, maybe not be as effective with Faithless Looting. Tacky with a currently 2 1, but I will pay two to make it a plus one plus one counter. Three, that two. That is too big for me to fight against. I will take three. I'll play an island, second main, and a coalition relic. And be done. I will draw for turn. Alrighty, I will cast Oreskos Explorer. I get to search my library for X planes cards, where it's the number of players who control more lands than you. I believe it's just two. And those go in my hand. Lands. I'll play the planes for turn, and then I'll pass the turn. Life and Insult the Necrosages real fast. I thought you said insult the Necrosages. I'm like, that's, that's not going to end well. I'll pay two life for a Sword of Truth and Justice. And then Jason, six coming at you. That's a uh, six commander damage from Arden. Perfect. Put a counter on him, proliferate, mill 10, and I get a puppy. Oh, I get to mill 10? Sweet. Oh, flashback. Nine, 10. My creatures were flashback, Sidisi, Micaeus, and Razakath. Untap, upkeep. Oh, it's a magic card. Swamp. I'm going to attack you, John. Three. Taking three. I'll pass the turn. End of turn. Put a counter on this collation. Relic. Draw. First main phase. This will be removed. And I will get a black. I will play Yidris. I'll play a Temple of Abandon. Scry one. Yeah, I'll put that on the bottom. Go at John S for four. Taking it. And I'll be done. Draw for turn. Hey, I'll play your planes. I'll play my second equipment, Shadow Spear. I'll put it on the Envoy. And then I'll move to combat. Heartless, fly you for two. Sure thing. All right, lifelink. I'll get two life and then I'll pass the turn. Taking one on my Mount of Ults. Stoneforge. Oof. I'm going to get Sword of Sinew and Steel. I will cast it, and uh, beginning of combat, I will equip Arden with it. Attack Jason. He is a 10 10. No, no, and I'm gonna hit Soul Ring? No, the altar. Nope, you said Soul Ring. I'll hit altar. I'll hit altar. <laughs> no, I'll... you said Soul Ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to get rid of a sack outlet so you can't just like win. We're no 10. Go ahead. Okay, point in your turn. Please. Uh -oh. I... Give me KS. <laughs> I guess you need a sock outlet, okay? Swamp return. Tap it. Stitcher supplier. Still a couple more chances here. Let's mill three. Do you have walking ballista? You need a sock outlet for it. Here's the thing. I think you got it. So you get Razaketh back. Then you'll be at 10. Mm -hmm. And then you sack your Stitcher to get walking ballista. You sacrifice walking ballista to get a sack outlet. You play the sack outlet. You're done. That's what I'm going to do. Then I'll play Mox Amber, Citra Supplier, two, and then I can get Viserys here. Ballista for one, shoot John once, sacrifice him to Viserys here because he gets plus one, plus one because of the case. I will scry one, keep it on top, do that 28 times. John, uh, 42 times, and Carlos, 38 times. And scene. Well, good thing I got milled there, or I had no chance. And Terezageth, yeah. Dang it. And, and Micaeus. I just had mana and walking bliss, and that was it. I love how the right move can turn into the wrong move so quickly in a game of Commander. John S. attacking Jason is overall probably the right move as his life is used as a resource for his commander and combos. However, attacking with the sword of body in mind to get some sacrifice fodder also gave Jason the graveyard fuel he needed to pull out a quick combo finish. If you'd like to support our channel so we can continue to make videos like this, you can like this video, subscribe to our channel, use our affiliate link on TCG Player when you're buying singles, or come join the kingdom over at patreon.com slash kingdoms tv thanks for watching and we'll see you next time